Now we talked about the larger, bigger picture. Now let's just zoom in and look look at, uh, of course, LF Energy has a lot of projects, but of course the foundation is relatively new, industry, not industry, but the projects are relatively new. Talk about the project that you folks are involved with. We are involved in the LF Energy CPATH project, uh, which is, you know, like, like every open source project almost, you know, that's a long acronym. So CPAS is it's for Software Enable Automation Platform and Artifact Therein. But to resume what it is, what it does, you know, CPAS is like a Linux distribution. It's like an exploit, an OS operation system that will run virtualization into the, the new grid that will manage virtualization into the new grid. As I explained before, you know, the grid needs to be modernized. And people get the vision that what happened in the telecom industry, you know, 10 years ago through the, the, the 5G revolution and the virtualization of all the software defined network, you know, this is what needs to be done on, on the electrical grid. And that's what CPAS is bringing. It will bring virtualization into the grid, into the substate, what we call the dig digitized substation. So all the node of the grid, which are the substation, will be digitized. And then all the business, the automation, control, security, AI, um, algorithm, software that will manage the grid and control it will be run virtually through VM or, do or Docker into uh, a CPAS platform. That, that the, 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 the goal we are, we, we are trying to, um, to follow on, on CPAS.